Welcome to GoodTaker Lead Code Tutorial. Here we are going to solve minimum depths of binary tree coding problem. So given binary tree, find its minimum depths. The minimum depth is the number of nodes along the shortest path from the root node down to the nearest leaf node. So node here, a leaf is a node with no children. So for example, given a binary tree, 3, 9, 20, 15, 7. So the shortest path from the root node down to the nearest leaf node is like this. 1, 2, so 2 step to this 15 node. So the minimum depth is a 2. So return is the minimum depth of this binary tree, the 2. So it's easy to notice the minimum depth for this simple binary tree. So how can we derive an algorithm to work well with for other like any kinds of a binary tree. So that's a question. So here we are going to solve it. So here, like for this example, simple example, we are easy to notice that it is a minimum depth is just a two. So we can get some conclusion from our observation like for some scenario of different kinds of binary tree. Like for a binary tree, if that's a just a simple now, it's an empty tree. So for that case, that uh, minimum depth for binary tree is just a zero. So second, if the binary tree only contains the root node itself, so in that case, the minimum depth of binary tree is one. And for other case, like this normal case tree, so we are going to actually compare with um, the minimum value between the left subtree and right subtree and take the minimum value to plus one to get the minimum depth. So like here we have a function called the find mean. So it's going to go to the left subtree and the right subtree. So from the root dot left and root dot right to check the left subtree and right subtree, then use a smaller value between the left uh, subtree and the right subtree to plus one plus the root node high and get the the minimum depth of the whole binary tree. So this find the mean function. So find the mean function, so find the mean function, so passing with a node, so node, so if a node is, is a just a null, is a just a null, so for that case, we can use a find the mean function to return a invalid value, so like we can just simply return the maximum integer as an invalid value. So as an indicator that we know this one, the root node, the node is a null. And if a node um, doesn't have a children, so root node uh, doesn't have a uh, left node is a null and um, the node dot right is also now. So for that case, we're gonna return one because that's just like this, only one root node, that's a one. And for other case, we'll use this find mean to call the, call the function itself like this. So this, this criteria is a recursively called by this find mean function. So we use this find mean function to check the normal case, like if this node, the sub left subtree and right subtree, find the minimum depth between the left subtree and right subtree, then plus one to get the find mean. So this is all the scenarios. So we can use all this scenario to produce our code to solve this coding problem. So here, back to the question. 
So as we said, so if the root node is null, so for that case, we can directly return zero. Minimum depth is zero. Otherwise, we are going to use our find mean depth function. Find mean depth function. So passing the root, passing this root node. So here we can implement this query helper function find mean depth. Find mean depth function. So here we are going to pass in the tree node root. So if this root node is now we return integer dot max value. So as a in value one. So like the it's an empty node, so we return the max value. So otherwise, so if a root node is not null, but root node dot left is null, and root node dot right is null. So the the node just uh, only has itself to simply return one. And for other case for the normal case, so we are going to return the mass. So in Java is mass dot max mean mass dot mean. So mass dot mean dot find mean depths of root dot left. So check the minimum depths of the left subtree and the minimum depths of the right subtree and use a smaller value to plus one and then we will get the minimum depth for the whole binary tree. So here this looks good. So let's click submit. Okay, accept it. So this is a solution for this minimum depth of binary tree calling problem. So with a implementation of this fiber helper function find mean depths will help to solve this minimum depths of binary tree. So this is a, um, a co commonly seen uh, coding problem for the binary tree. So just uh, keep practice and uh, you will get more proficient in solve binary tree coding problem. Okay. See you next time.